In this video, I will unbox this bad boy and install not just one, but two AMD Radeon 7s. Stay tuned. First off, this box is huge. And in typical Apple fashion, the box is also amazingly well built. I will not do a detailed unboxing since there are a ton of those videos out there. For this installation, you will need a belking adapter kit, a Phillips screwdriver, a T8 torque screwdriver. That's it. After removing the outer case, you have to remove the small bracket that holds the PCIe slot covers in place. The Radeon 7 should be in a 16x slot. Since it's not a MPX card, you need to give it some power via cables. It's much easier to plug the cables in before you install the cards. Then plug in your cables and repeat for the second GPU. Last thing is to put back the bracket and close the very satisfying PCIe latch. Next up, Promise Pegasus J2i. I for internal by the way. First, remove the bracket on the top with a T8 torque screwdriver. I installed a second disk into the bay for a total of 12 terabytes of storage. Install the included cables and insert the hard drive bay into the machine. Reinstall the bracket and you're done. The RAM installation is very straightforward. Pop the RAM covers and install the RAM sticks in the correct slots. You find the correct slots to use on the inside of the covers. Really smart. And now for some benchmarks. With Geekbench 5, I got a score of 52,000 with one Radeon 7 selected and only 40,000 with the Pro 580X. A little bit misleading, but anyway. In real world exporting times in DaVinci Resolve, I used a two minute 4.5K red raw clip on a 4K timeline with some noise reduction, sharpening, and I got these times. Only 580X, I got 17 minutes and 48 seconds. With only one Radeon 7, 6 minutes and 3 seconds. Two Radeon 7s, 3 minutes and 14 seconds. Wow, that's impressive. And with all three cards, I got uh, 8 minutes and 52 seconds. So you get worse performance with both the Radeon 7s and the Pro 580X than only with one Radeon 7s. As you can see, you get half the render time with a dual Radeon 7 compared to only one. Note that I use Metal and not OpenCL for the render test. Conclusion time. These cards are amazing and cheap compared to Apple's Vega 2 options from the Apple Store. The one downside with these cards have to be that there is no sleep mode. So when you put your computer in sleep mode, the fans of the card spin up to the max. But I can live with that. Hope you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'm also on Instagram so please follow me there. And remember, not all treasures is silver and gold mate. Jack Sparrow.